Hey Harmonizers, in this video we're going to take a look at Emily Dugan at the Maryland Mustang Challenge that did a session with Elon on bodywork and she's going to show us a bunch of different releases and bodywork techniques that she did on him. So this was pretty cool. This is a scapula release, which scapula is your shoulder blade. So she's bending his head so she can kind of get in there a little deeper and you can see she's getting her hand kind of right tucked in behind the shoulder blade area and just kind of resting and waiting for Elon to kind of release and get a little bit softer. What was interesting about Elon is he was really tight pretty much almost everywhere but especially in his shoulder area and he even has a bit of kind of a bump around his pole area. And so she was doing a bunch of work on him to try to help soften him and loosen him up. I'm definitely going to be keeping up with a bunch of these different releases with my horses and just kind of see what kind of a difference I see in my horses. And I'll let you guys know as that gets happening. She was also explaining that whatever you do on one side, you want to do on the other side, which is something that I do in my training anyways. And uh, makes sense that you want to make sure you try to soften and supple all of the different muscles. If you're doing one side, you're going to do the other side as well. So here she's on the right side of Elon getting in there. And I definitely felt a difference. I uh, also did some of these things and had Emily watch me to kind of see if I was doing them correctly or whatnot. And sometimes when Elon's moving around like that, he's saying that it's hard for him or that it's a little bit tender. And so she's just kind of following him there politely and will wait for him. It's not a training per se, like you don't want to train him to stand still and not react. You want him to move and show you when things hurt or when he's trying to have a release. But at the same time, you want to kind of follow him a little bit and make sure that you're getting in there to get that release. And I definitely noticed a difference between the right and the left side. I found his right side much tighter and much stiffer. And the left side seemed to be a little bit easier to get into that shoulder area. There you can see he's having a little bit of a lick and chew. And that's a little bit of a release there. You can also get a good look at his little mustache there. He's got the cutest little wispies there on his nose. Uh, he's pretty funny how he's got that little mustang mustache there. And you can see as he starts to release a little bit now, he's bending his head quite a bit and really kind of softening in there. And the sensation, the feeling that you get on your hand resting on that scapula in that little area, the muscle literally goes from feeling hard and like that there's no room for your hand to getting really soft and mushy and that it's very easily to hold that uh, release and, and hold that posture. So afterwards, after each kind of movement, we would always kind of let him stand a little bit and kind of process and think and see if there'd be any further relaxation that he would do or further releasing. He's he doing lots of blinking there, which can be a sign of a release. This one was super crazy cool to watch her do. So you, you literally just holding the tongue, but she was explaining like you just want to kind of hold the tongue, but you're not pulling the tongue and you're just kind of following him if he's moving his tongue and you're essentially just kind of holding it until the horse gets to a place where it kind of goes floppy almost and it becomes really soft and, and pliable. And this was really weird. I've never seen a tongue release done. I do a release on the horse's upper lip and this is my first time seeing a tongue release. And I was pretty surprised. This was actually the release that he enjoyed the most. So he does all these big yawns. See how he starts to get these big yawns, these big releases starting to happening. And even after she ends up letting go of his tongue, he does even more of these big releases. So this was a, a a winner for him. It worked really, really well. Of course, every horse is going to be different and need releases in different ways and experience things a little differently. But he loved this and gets uh, really, really soft with it and just lets out a lot of tension. So you see, he starts to get into those big yawns, the big openings there. And even afterwards, he had lots of big yawns and big releases, lots of blinking, lots of licking and chewing, lots of um, lots of processing. Like here you can see him doing more of that. So this is all triggering that parasympathetic nervous system, which is your rest, digest, learn, play, heal, or nervous system, getting out of that fight or flight. And you can imagine as a Mustang who was rounded up only a few months ago, earlier this year, and then getting moved into holding pens and then getting shipped up to Canada. He's gone through a lot of stress and he's got a good reason to be in that kind of survival 
mode and, and be kind of on guard. And one of the things that I noticed with him after doing this release is you notice how he's holding his head a little bit lower. So that's kind of interesting because I do notice that he tends to hold himself a little bit more upright. Of course, what you do on one side, you got to do on the other side. So she's doing the tongue on the other side there. And I really wish that I had taken a before photo or before video of how he was standing in the stall before having all of this body work done. Here she's just pointing out how when you're doing the tongue release that there's a lot of um, action going on and releasing going on through the whole jaw and um, through the side of their face. And it's releasing that TMJ and everything is just getting so much softer. So they're kind of playing and releasing with all of that stuff. And you can see he's doing lots of kind of little licks and chews and chewing. And her hand is just following that tongue wherever it goes until it starts to get soft and pliable and just kind of be blah and just kind of hanging out there. And that's how she kind of knows when to stop and just let him finish releasing. But definitely when you look at Elon's confirmation, he tends to stand kind of upside down almost where his he's holding himself very up with the underside of his neck and doesn't have a lot of top line so I'm hoping that with doing this body work with him it's going to help him to relax use his top line a bit more and uh, allow him to soften his body a little bit more and not be in such a defensive stance which he has lots of reason to be in because he's gone through a lot being a Mustang that was recently captured. So one of the things we noticed with him is that he was pretty sensitive up by his pole area. He actually has a bit of a bump even kind of on his left side of his pole a little bit just behind his left ear. So what Emily's doing now is some lateral flexion pieces with him where she's asking him to bend a little bit and flex through that pole and try to stretch that out a little bit while keeping his ears level. So the idea is for his head to stay level and not tip his ears so that way one's pointed towards the ground or to the sky but instead keeping him level as she bends him left and of course you guessed it that what you do one side she's gonna have to do to the other side as well and so she's doing that little bit of wiggle jiggle as I'll call it to help soften him so she's kind of using a bit of an open hand touch wiggling him a little bit into position which just helps soften everything and uh, make sure the horse doesn't start bracing up against you because if you're just kind of pulling on them then that could be a little bit challenging to get your horse to soften to that especially because you're asking them to do things that are kind of uncomfortable for them because you're getting into those ouchy spots and you're asking them to release those spots so the little bit of rhythm and that kind of pulsing pressure is really helpful for that. I do that with horses too when I'm asking them to move. Like let's say I'm going to ask them to go sideways or go backwards and I'm using my hands on them to put pressure and to touch them to ask them to move. I find that that kind of pulsy rhythmic pressure can work better than steady pressure, which sometimes they can brace against or even ignore. So she's doing a little bit of... Uh, looking at his jaw right now and seeing how soft and pliable that is and really assessing the whole head and trying to get that a lot softer. She's going to do something pretty cool after she finishes doing these lateral bends where she's going to do some rotations with his head as well. And right now she's just kind of feeling out his, his whole head and pole area and explaining some of the things that she's looking for. She was giving me a little lesson on this body work stuff so that way I could take it home with me and do some work with my horses using it and then we swapped off and I helped Emily with her horse uh, teaching it how to lay down she'd already taught her horse how to bow and so I showed her a couple options for how to teach her horse to lay down she had a lot of uh, fun playing with her horse she had done a great job getting him to a place where he was soft and responsive and trying to figure things out so those are always fun to work with because then you get to kind of jump right in there and, and see what they can figure out with the higher level concepts. So here you can see he's doing a good job bending his head and the goal is to keep his ears level. So we want to see those ears upright, not one pointing towards the ground or pointing towards the ceiling. We want to see them nice and upright like they are right now. And so she's trying to keep those ears level and bend his head at the same time. So when they bend through their body like that they're helping to stretch out their spine a little bit 
and uh, then waiting for that release afterwards and just kind of giving him time to soak on it. You can see he's having a little lick and chew there. So that means that he's uh, releasing a little bit and that that was doing something for him. So this next one's pretty cool. So the horse's head's pretty heavy and this is one of the uh, releases that she was doing for him, working on his pole area there and just trying to support his head and move his head and stretch his head head out a little bit and so she's supporting him a little bit there and he's a little bit sensitive to that touch behind his um, head he's not ear shy or anything like that but he does have a bump right behind his left ear which is um, we're not really sure what's going on with that I did notice it when I picked him up and when we started handling him and was hoping that it would just kind of go away on its own but it doesn't seem to be going away so he probably is gonna get some chiropractor adjustment treatment and uh, we'll probably get the vet to look at that the next time they're out as well. He seems to be really enjoying this though, the stretching. You can see him kind of half shut his eyes sometimes and it's a little tight for him to kind of work through it. And Emily was kind of explaining that the goal is for him to get really loose and soft through his neck and pole, that he's kind of basically giving his head and neck really freely to her. And to start with, he's pretty guarded with that and a little bit unsure. But then as she kind of works with him a little bit, he gets a little softer, a little looser. Still has a long way to go in terms of getting softer and looser and more free with his neck and that will come with the stretching and just the body work it will definitely be interesting to see after i kind of keep this going for a few more weeks how he does after that and just kind of the consistency of course always letting go and seeing if he has any releases or if he gives us any other signs of um, tension or relaxation and letting him kind of tell us what he's ready for or um, not ready for there he's doing a fair bit of blinking there there he's kind of moving away showing that he's still sensitive in that spot here he was showing he was pretty sensitive on his pecs or what would be his uh, chest muscles there Emily's kind of getting in there a little bit and doing some stretching and massaging of those pec muscles there and he does a couple little motions towards her that kind of say, hey, that's a bit uncomfortable. You can see he's kicking a little bit with his back legs and just being kind of fidgety, which we know from Elon, he's very good at standing still and relaxed. So the fact that he's fidgeting like that and kind of kicking up his back legs, that's him saying that that is sore and that's tight and tense and a little bit challenging for him. And the fact that he's kind of moving around. So that tells Emily that he needs work in that area, but also not to go any deeper with what she's doing, not to go any uh, more difficult. So she's doing some leg stretches there and he finds it hard to give the leg a little bit and she's helping him out there, trying to free up that range of motion for him a little bit. And it could be a little bit of, oh, this is weird and I'm not sure how to do this because I haven't been asked to stretch my leg like that other than when he's getting a trim for the farrier. So you might be thinking, oh, this is weird and I'm not really sure what to do. But also as they're doing this body work with the horses, I find that they really start to figure out, oh, okay, I get it. You're trying to help me and we're not actually doing training right now. This is kind of muscle relaxation work. The horses do figure that stuff out. And for example, he understands, oh, okay, this is not a lay down cue. This is a a relaxation piece or you're trying to help me out but you can see him kind of looking a little bit there uh, not really sure and he steps and follows the feel a little bit and uh, she's gonna pick up the leg here in a second but the fact that he's fidgeting a little bit lets us know that it could be a little bit uncomfortable for him so she kind of see how he's standing with his head a little bit more upright and his ears are kind of to the side and his nose is a little bit more tight as well so those are signs that kind of say this is a little bit harder for him whether it's because he's confused or he's uncomfortable probably a little bit of both but probably more that tightness piece because he was really kind of kicking a little bit when those pec muscles were being massaged so he definitely finds this a little bit harder so he's got a lot of tightness in his body for me to work through and the riding work has really been very um, minimal, like sad saddle work and riding work. It's all been pretty much groundwork for him. So it's not that he's been doing a lot in terms of physical things, but this would be a lot of built up tension 
but he's been through a lot in the last um in the last few months from being rounded up and holding pens and transporting long distances and everything so the poor little guy has a lot of tightness a lot of reason to be tight so of course whatever you do on one side you do the other side here you can see emily working with that leg on the other side doing some of those same stretches and range of motion where she's trying to get him to kind of give his leg a little bit and free up that shoulder and those chest muscles there so she's working with that and he's a little bit giving of the leg and a little bit pulley of the leg he is checking out he's like what are you doing with my foot over there and uh, she, you can see she's got her hand on that pec muscle as well doing some body work there to help get some releases in there so he finds this uh, a little little tight little difficult but not overly so and then he takes the step out there as she brings the leg out to the side and she's given him a little rub there. So all in all, he's got lots of tightness spots to work through. I think he really enjoyed his session. He was standing so relaxed afterwards. So we're definitely appreciative of what Emily did for him. And uh, I'll definitely keep it up. And I'll let you guys know how he does after some more bodywork sessions. Thanks for watching.